uh, certainly no announcements or changes in policy from the president's rollout last August. Kristen. Sarah, have you asked the president if he's ever used the N-word? Uh, the president uh, addressed that question directly via Twitter. I'd refer you back to him. I can certainly say I've never heard him use uh, that term or anything but, but similar. Have you, have you asked him directly, Sarah? The president, I didn't have to because he addressed it to the American people all at one time. Why haven't you asked him directly? Uh, again, the president answered that question directly uh, on Twitter earlier today. Can you Sarah. stand at the podium and guarantee the American people they'll never hear Donald Trump utter the N-word on a recording in any context? Uh, I can't guarantee uh, anything, but I can tell you that the president addressed this question directly. I can tell you that I've never heard it. Uh, I can also tell you that if myself or the people that are in this building serving this country every single day, doing our very best to help people uh, all across this country and make it better. If at any point we felt uh, that the president was who some of his critics claim him to be, we certainly wouldn't be here. This is a president who uh, is fighting for all Americans, who is putting policies in place that help all Americans, particularly African Americans. Uh, just look at the economy alone. This president, since he took office in the year and a half that he's been here, has created seven Seven hundred thousand new jobs for African Americans. That's seven hundred thousand African Americans that are working now working when this president took place. When President Obama left after eight years in office, eight years in office, he had only created 800 or 195,000 jobs for African Americans. President Trump in his first year and a half has already tripled what President Obama did in eight years. Not only did he do that for African Americans, but for Hispanics, 1.7 million more Hispanics are working now. This is a president who cares about all Americans, who is committed to helping them and is putting policies in place that actually do that. Kevin. Kevin. Sorry, Kristen, I'm going to go ahead to Kevin. Kevin, go ahead. Go ahead. Just to be clear, you can't guarantee it. I, look, I haven't been in every single room. I can tell you the president has addressed this directly. Uh, he's addressed it directly to the American people. And I can tell you what the focus and the heart of the president is. And that's on helping all Americans. Uh, and certainly, uh, this is somebody who has been in business uh, for decades. And you're just now hearing some of these outrageous accusations after the fact he's dealt with people all over the world. It wasn't until he became a candidate for president that you started to hear some of these salacious uh, and ridiculous claims. And certainly, I think if you look at uh, the actions that this president has taken, certainly the policies that he's enacted, you can see the heart of who he is, and you can see exactly uh, what he has done and the type of president and person he is. Kevin. Thank you, Sarah. Just a, a very quick one on something that Omarosa said today. She called the president uh, 